Hi everybody. I'm making this video because I have gout. I have acute gout and it's in my right toe and it's excruciatingly painful as most of you know. And uh, this is the fourth time I've had it and I'm making this video to illustrate a few of the things that I have found that really helps me uh, from this pain in terms of walking, just putting on shoes, and most importantly because I have a dog. As many of you people have dogs, walking the dog becomes impossible. So this is the fourth time I've had gout. I guess it's acute gout, and though I take anti-inflammatories like indomethacin and ibuprofen, and it actually helps a little bit in terms of the inflammation and relieves a little bit of the pain, overall walking and putting on shoes is near impossible. So this is what I have found that actually works for me. It may not work for you. You can see from my big toe that it's swollen. Maybe you can't but uh, it's very red, swollen, and very, very painful. So what I found is that these items that you can see, there's a insert, there is tubing that actually is for copper piping, scissors, and a few of the shoes that have actually worked for me. There's a pair of North Face insulated booties that have been very helpful in terms of comfort, as well as being able to walk outside. And I have these old pair of sorrel boots that have the big felt inserts that I bought off eBay for about $30 that I realized can really work in terms of my gout pain and being able to walk outside. And I'll show you how that works as well. So let me show you what I found that happens um, in terms of gout and how I can actually alleviate some of the pain. So much of the time, my foot, uh, the toe over here, pushes inward because the pain is on the outside. And I found when I put my finger in between my toe, it actually helped the pain a little bit. So I realized that maybe I could find something that actually goes in there all of the time that's comfortable, that moves my toe out a little bit from my other toes. So what I had in the house was this foam tubing that goes around copper piping. And you can buy them with different diameter interiors, interior diameters. This one is three quarter inch uh, diameter on the inside, and this is about one inch. And it should work, uh, obviously, if your toe is bigger or smaller. So three quarters is what has worked for me. So what I did was I cut about a half inch piece, half inch to about five eighths, not too wide. You just want to get it around your toe. Oops. So here's that little donut. And then what I did was actually, I slid it, as you can see, onto my big toe, softly and surely. So now I've got this comfortable little donut around my big toe that pushes it out from the rest of the toes, but that's actually soft and expandable. So now this alleviates some of the pain, but what I also found was when I put on my sock, it actually made a little bit of a gap between the actual joint and the sock, and it gave it a little bit of air. So let me just quickly put on my sock gently over my toe. And now you can see that the insulation is in there, but I've got this little pocket of air on the inside that actually removes the fabric away from the joint so there's a little less pain. Then what I found in terms of actually walking was I had these big sorrel boots with this felt insert. Well, I couldn't put my foot inside because the insert and the boot was still too tight around my toe. So what I did was actually pulled out the insert. Then I took one of my sport inserts out of one of my uh, sneakers, or you can just buy this at any store. It's, it's rubber and gel. <clears throat> and I put the insert in because now there's tons more room inside of the boot once you move the felt insert. Then I found these sheepskin inserts on Amazon and they're very inexpensive and they're extremely comfortable. I bought a couple of pair for other shoes and I thought maybe this will work as well to take up some of the gaps in the shoe once you've taken out the felt insert. So now I have that in there. And now I can gently insert my foot and there's loads of room for my swollen toe and foot. But what's more important, that little insert 
which I used regarding this foam piece of tubing, has now created a gap here so that the boot is actually not touching that joint. So obviously the boot is loose, so you tie it tight around your ankle <clears throat> and the lower part of your shin. And what's great is now you have a snug boot on top that doesn't move around a lot, but you have a huge amount of room in the front box of the shoe because of that little foam insert. And you can actually walk around with less pain, not completely no pain, but it has helped me immensely in terms of walking, moving around and having some type of shoe that'll actually work that doesn't cause even more pain to my actual toe. The other shoe, as I mentioned, that I found really works well is this North Face insulated booty. It has a lot of room. It's very, very soft. It has a grippy bottom, so you can actually walk outside with it, but it's incredibly comfortable around my actual big toe that's inflamed because the expandable material actually moves out and it's very soft, and it actually has enough room so you can still use this, this insulation hack around your toe that makes your foot a little bit wider, but it can accommodate for that width. So again, I really hope that if somebody tries this, it actually helps them out. Um, I'm not saying that this will cure the pain again, but it does help me and I've been surprisingly happy and so is my dog because now I can walk with less pain. It actually helps also sleeping at night in, in terms of providing a little bit more air around the actual joint so that nothing touches it and nothing pushes against it and actually keeps my toes a little more secure together while also providing more room with the other toes so that they don't rub and, don't, and it doesn't bend at night when I sleep and it's incredibly more comfortable and makes it a lot easier to have my gout, which I usually have between four and 10 days and also, most importantly, being able to walk my dog, who you can actually see right there.